Hello everyone, my name is Silweed and welcome back to Star Stable Online. So I actually think that we have to do a racing track in order to progress any further. So you're back and you want to try again. Let's go then. So we have to race with the first track that we raced on. Uh, and we'll see if we got better or we'll just try to survive it really. So I beat my own score. That's really good. Uh, we still have a long way to go before we're gonna be in the lead. And uh, then we go talk to town again. Well done, Zelda. All right. That was better than expected. You're still far from a record time, but that's totally normal. Just wait until you and Lemon can spend more time together on the tra trails around here. You'll get. A lot quicker. You and your horse would get better together. You can try to beat your times all you want. All right, so that's what we already knew. Because so this is my staple. So this is the first time we're in here. You enter your stable. Uh, welcome to your new stable. Welcome to your stable. You can put your horse in the new box stalls, where you can easily reach them if you don't have any box free. Box styles left in your stable, the remaining horses will be put in your inventory. There are different box styles available and each horse can be assigned to and each one can be assigned to a horse. Follow these instructions to activate a box stall. Go to the box stall and click on the sign with the name of the box stall. This will open inventory where you can choose which horse you want to put in the box. You can also upgrade your stable after you have reached level 5. Each new upgrade the level offers more horse boxes and among other things. Talk to John to upgrade your stable. John is standing outside the stable. You can find more information about the stable and how it works in the help menu next to the map. Okay. So this is if like I have more than one horse. Stable care help arrange horses. Appearance change, alright. And we can even shower them if we want. That is pretty cool. Quest log. Tile deed, okay. All I need to do is. Uh, sorry, I can stop queuing. So, okay, so this is. Uh, we can do this one uh, because before it was blocked off, but now we opened up the path up by the hill so we can hopefully get to this quest. I remember this. Uh, I just I just forgot about it, so that's why. I guess it could be anyone. This is a red house. So it was this way all along. Well, when you look at that, the more you know. So now we talk to oh oh old toy. Why hello dear, what can I do for you? A lot of things. Hmm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago. When Thomas Morland's wife Catherine died in childbirth, Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All the paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father. And there's a good chance that the title deed was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born is of course Justin. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tragedy that this fiend, this fa fa <laughs> this fa <laughs> feud has been going on for so long. But if anyone has the title deed, it would be old man Jasper. It won't be easy convincing him to part with it, though. You'll find old man Jasper along the road leading to Fort Pinta. Close to a wall. Press M on the keyboard uh, to do it. You see a small thing done. Good luck, dear. Alright. So. 
It's here. Oh my Jasper. Shouldn't be simple enough to find. Oh here is Jasper then. Old man Jasper's house. Should I look grumpy that's for certain? Well you found me. And now you can leave me alone again. You're so nasty. Bah. Why do I care if Mona Stables is raised to the ground? That place killed my daughter and I have hated the Moorlands for the better part of 20 years. If you think you can change that, you're welcome to try, but I won't help you. That's really sad. He just car he's carried a grudge for 20 years. That's a really long time to be pissed at someone for something that was out of their hands. Like, accidents happen and can't really blame anybody for something as tragic as that. It's just how it goes sometimes with you know, nature and stuff like that. It's it's really unfortunate, so I don't think he's right to carry a grudge like that. Definitely not. But I mean if you if we put ourselves in his situation we'll probably be having a really hard time to deal with that as well. So it, it's it's really a tricky thing. But I mean Justin is his grandson right so he should at least find some comfort in that and it's 20 years he hasn't seen him he probably haven't even you know it's just sad it's really really sad hey Zelda have you been have you been to see my grandfather Jasper that crazy old man hates us and nothing would please him more than to see our stable raised to the ground I yeah I can tell I don't know how I could make that old fool of a grandmother change his mind I know that my mom really loved my dad, Thomas. What happened was a terrible tragedy. I have these letters from my mom and dad that they wrote to each other before they got married. They proved it was true love. I've been thinking of showing them to my grandfather, Jasper, but never really dared. If he saw them, he would realize that Catherine and Thomas really loved each other. Maybe you can show him? Take these letters and show them to Jasper. They should make some kind of impression on him. Well, I hope so. Otherwise, it'll be pretty sad. All right, here goes nothing. What's that horse doing? It was just gliding on the ground. <laughs> what? You here again? What's with all the papers? Let me have a look at that. It looks really old. I recognize that handwriting. Is it true? Were they really written by my daughter? Of course it's true. When I read these letters from my beloved daughter, my heart weeps. I have been such a proud idiot all these years and it cost me my grandson. So, so. I have little deed. I have the title deed and of course I will give it to Thomas Moorland. That scumbag Mr. Kemble is a disgrace to this island. Here is the key to my deposit box in Fort Pinta. You will find the title deed inside. Cl collect it and bring the key back to me before you say anything to Thomas Moorland. From now on you can ride across my land whenever you want. You will get to Fort Pinta by following the Fort Pinta road here. You will find the deposit box at the notary in the Fort Pinta main building. Alright, so we can go this way. Uh, maybe kind of having a little bit of doubt now, but I guess can't really see for Pinda anywhere on the map. Oh, it's here! It's out here. That's why I didn't notice it. I didn't even look out there. But all right, then we're definitely on the right track. So we should just head this way. Yes. Oh, this is nice. Or Pinza, it's pretty nice. Green roofs on those houses and blue windows. That's definitely a uh, characteristic to say the least. Oh, there's another track down here, it looks like at least. I think we could race there. Ford Pinza. Oh, oh, look at the horses! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not in the box! You must be a star right to use the transport system. Start the you can learn more about how to be a star. Right, so that's I want a membership thing. I'm pretty sure uh, it's uh, 
one too. This horse is scorched though. And I can buy it. I can buy these horses if I want to. Wow. How much? Oh, they got star coins. The Shrier horse. Yeah, I love Shrier horses. They're so nice. So they got star coins. Okay, so you will need a lot um, of work before you can buy the horses. But it's cool that you can buy horses here. And uh, so we should look for the box in the main building. That's what he told us. Now it's just a matter of which is the main building. Is this the main building? No, it really could be anything. Um. A stable over there. Uh, I don't think I can, you know, go in anywhere. Oh, there is something here, so I can maybe I can go in here. Stop! Stop! Then I can stand. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I thought it was, let's just say that. Uh, okay. Tori? A wild Mustang. Hi, have you heard? Rumor has it that Spirit is here in Jorvik. Me and my best friend Sally have come all the way here just to meet him. We've idolized him ever since we were little. We don't you don't know who Spirit is? Spirit is the best. He's a wild Mustang who always wants to help those close to him. I bet he's here to see what he can do to help the people and animals here in Jorvik. You should try to find him so you can have the chance to meet him and get to know him. If you love horses, Spirit is a horse you must get to know. Special... Oh, I love that. Can I have it please? Yes, I can have it. I don't know where he is, but I've heard that he is moving between different places here on the island. Perhaps you'll get lucky and find him. Is it true? As Spirit seems to trust you, he will probably ask you for help with more things. You should definitely help him. Who knows, you might become friends with him if you help him with what he wants. She has a freaking shirt on it. With, with Spirit on. <laughs> That's so cute. Alright, well that's nice, but it's not really what I want. Who's this guy? Oh, okay. It's right here. Some huge glasses you have, sir. Alright, so now I have the deed, the legal document. So now we just have to go back to Moorland Stables and solve... Or we go back to the old man first. Yeah, that's right, I remember. Thanks for getting the title deed. These are the old legal documents that show that Thomas is the rightful owner of Moorland Stables. And you brought my key back too. Great. Thank you. Thanks once again. Okay. An old fool. Young lady, would you would you possibly do a grumpy old man a favor? Could you take these letters and amulet that belong to Catherine, Justin's mother, and give them to him? Tell him that you have what you have done and that I want to see him as soon as possible. It may not be much, but at least it's an attempt to try to start repairing 20 years of bitterness. And a way for this old fool to say sorry. Well, it's, it's nice that you can see that he, um, that he was wrong. That's definitely good. Well, what do you know? My frosty heart is now warm after 20 years in the cold. Young lady, I gave you this title deed to Moorland Stables. You have certainly earned it. Thomas. Thomas will be de will definitely be happy now. Yes, and we get pants. Did we get that one? No, this is the old one. All right. Oh, we got it! Yes. Lucky special occasion dress. Oh my god, I want it. I want to put it on. Is it on now? I have to right click it. I have to double click it. Yes. Now we have it on. Pinky, pinky. That's so cute. Alright, so now we should really hurry back with the legal documents so that we can hopefully settle this. But I have a feeling it's not over yet though. We might be facing more trouble. And lemon kiss needs to be brushed, so we'll do that when we get there too. 
Hmm. Holy horses, you have saved the stables from demolition. Finally, I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moorland Stables, and it's all thanks to you. I will show this to the council, and then Mr. Kimball will have no choice but to stop construction of the new buildings. I don't know how to thank you. I owe you more than I could ever repay you. Well, you gave me pants, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's uh, put those on. Oh, wow. Sure. They're okay. Not too bad. What's this? A package for Justin. Alright, we should go do that then. Give that to Justin. It's also pretty important. Oh, Zelda, you have no idea how happy this makes me. This... <laughs> this far... Feud? 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 Is it feud? Feud? I think so. It's been going on for far too long, and it's finally come to an end. All thanks to you. You will always be a very special friend to Moorland Stables. Thank you. That should definitely make my reputation go up, right? Yes, it's much better now, which is cool. So what did we get? We got a shirt or something? Fine t-shirt and uh, this is my old pants. All right, I'm gonna keep this outfit on because it's very cute. Well, I'll get working on finding uh, more quests and uh, and see where we go from here. Maybe we'll sleep and we'll have more quests in the morning. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So long. Simmer down, simmer down They say we're too young now to amount to anything else But look around, we work too damn hard for this Just to give it up now If you don't swim, you'll drown But don't move